Arnie Gunderson, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I appreciate that. Yeah, hi, Michael. Thank you for having me. So, Arnie, uh, let's jump right in. Mr. Gunderson, let's uh, jump right into this. What has happened at uh, Indian Point? The governor, Andrew Cuomo, is uh, quite concerned, as I'm sure that he should be, uh, uh, as to what happened at Indian Point and how much uh, uh, jeopardy are is the community in because of this. Well, uh, thank you, by the way, for that hat tip to Robert Knight. Uh, you know, he and I talked about these leaks at Indian Point back uh, years ago. Mm. The site is riddled with radioactive leaks, and uh, um, and the Department of Environmental Conservation has known about those leaks for, oh, God, probably at least a decade, if not more. So what has happened is that uh, the monitoring wells on site suddenly registered a very high spike in radiation this weekend. And uh, uh, to put the number in perspective, uh, they talk about 8 million becquerels per liter. What the heck does that mean? Um, you know, a liter bottle of soda. Well, if you envision a liter bottle of soda with 8 million sparks of light every second, that's how many radioactive molecules are disintegrating inside that liter bottle of water. So if that if that liter bottle of water was in you, those disintegrations would be damaging DNA. So um, radiation is dangerous, and, and the, the, these numbers, 8 million becquerels per, per liter, that's, uh, that's a thousand times higher than the EPA limits, um, which are themselves much higher than other nations around the world. So it's... Um, it's bad, but we shouldn't be surprised. You know, that the site has known it's got leaks for oh, as long as uh, 20 years now. Mm. Um, the governor, as I, I mentioned, said that New York will investigate uh, Indian Point after uh, he learned that uh, radioactive tritium uh, contaminated water leaked into the groundwater at the facility in Westchester County. Uh, first, can you uh, just tell us what tritium is, a radioactive tritium is, and uh, uh, what its uh, effects may may be? Yeah, um, I, hopefully it's it's uh, uh, radioactive tritium. Tritium is just like water; it's a radioactive hydrogen molecule. So where water goes in your body, tritium goes in your body. It's, it's, uh, your body doesn't differentiate chemically between it and, uh, and water. So it's, uh, it's nasty because it's absorbed when you drink or, or even when you breathe, and it goes right into your cells, crosses the placental barrier, shows up in mother's milk. Um, so it, it goes wherever there's water in your body. and. Like I said, it's it's uh, it's radioactive and damages DNA. Mm -hmm. So you know, the, the governor said it's radioactive tritium. Um, there may be other isotopes in it as well, and and we know on Indian Point there's uh, there's something called strontium, and that's a bone secret that causes leukemia. So uh, hope hopefully it's a single isotope leak, which would be tritium. But well, and. My guess is uh, the problem's going to get worse before it gets better. Mm -hmm. Now, the uh, spokesman for spokesperson for Entergy, I believe uh, Jerry Nappy, said uh, that the elevated levels of tritium are, are more than a thousand times below federal limits, and that there are no health risks to the public. Um, uh, drinking water sources were were not effective. Now. Uh, Arnie Gunderson, you've been following uh, Indian Point for many, many years. You have extensive knowledge in this area. Uh, is this borne out by the facts, what the uh, spokesperson for Entergy is saying? You know, uh, Entergy has tried to downplay these leaks wherever they occur. And, and Entergy plants seem to have a, um, a, a, a huge number of tritium leaks compared to industry averages. Um, the, the first thing is... Uh, Entergy believes that dilution is the solution to pollution. So they're not really talking about in that particular monitoring well because what they'll say is, well, you don't drink the water that comes from our monitoring well. Let's go out into the middle of the Hudson River and measure it and, and see, what the, see what the levels are. So I, I think the Entergy spokesman is talking about 
so far, it hasn't reached the Hudson River, um, but as it migrates toward the river from the from the power plant, um, eight eight million becquerels per liter is uh, is a thousand times higher than the uh, than the EPA limits, which are about uh, um, in excess of eight hundred becquerels per liter. This latest leak at uh, Indian Point is this. Um, should the community, should we be really seriously concerned about this from the standpoint that this is an old facility? You know, it's actually both of those. That's a really good point. You know, we, we, had, we had leaks um, here in Vermont of Vermont Yankee, and when Entergy went in to try to find the leak, they realized there's about 40 pipes underground that they didn't even know about. So these old facilities, when these pipes were built, uh, they didn't. Uh, they didn't put them on the drawings accurately. So uh, the the aging issue at Indian Point, you know, it's already over 40 years old. You've got uh, iron pipes in the ground for 40 plus years, and Entergy wants to run it another 20. I think these trends will uh, uh, will become worse over time if uh, Indian Point's allowed to run. But, you know, the second half of your question about uh, should the community be concerned. Uh, there's two issues. A new leak. This is a leak that was just detected, mm. and, and these things tend to get tend to get worse before they get better. Um, uh, my guess is when they check that well this week, it'll be higher. That's the trend that happens at every nuke. So the groundwater on that site is going to be contaminated for a couple hundred years, and if you want to recover that site, when when the plant is ultimately dis- destroyed and dismantled. Um, if you want to recover that site for other uses, um, you've got contaminated groundwater to deal with. It happened at Connecticut Yankee, which is on the Connecticut River just south of uh, um, Middletown, uh, Connecticut. And they had a leak that uh, um, it entered groundwater, and they had to spend an extra half a billion dollars cleaning it up. So. If nothing else, for, forget the health issues, the cleanup issues when you have these types of leaks um, add to the price that that New Yorkers are going to have to pay to clean this mess up. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, Arnie Gunderson, uh, I appreciate your time this morning. Before you go, I, I just wanted to ask you, uh, you are uh, here in the metropolitan area now, but uh, – you're you're traveling uh, recently, and some of the uh, reasons why I asked you to come on uh, was because of uh, some of the reporting that you did with Robert Knight over the years about uh, Fukushima. Could you just tell us uh, just briefly a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, uh, Robert was uh, by far and away in Fukushima that I ever knew. Uh, he was really well prepared, and, mm-hmm. and, and I loved being on WBAI with, with Robert. Yes. You're pretty good, too, I might add. <laughs> but I am off tomorrow for a month in Japan um, to uh, Fukushima uh, Prefecture, which is the, the state that surrounds uh, Fukushima Daiichi, where the nuclear meltdown was. And uh, I'll be taking some, uh, some, doing some science, and I'll be giving some speeches mm-hmm. in, um, in the area. So I'm looking forward to a month in Japan. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, perhaps you'll stop by uh, the morning show when you return for a report on your visit. Oh, I'd love that. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Arnie Gunderson. I appreciate safe travels. This is the morning show on radio station WBAI at 99.5 FM and WBAI.org. Arnie Gunderson, the chief engineer at Fairwinds Energy Education. Look them up online, please. Fairwinds Energy Education.